Okay, good morning everyone. I hope you had a, a lovely rest over this uh, Easter break and happy Easter to you all. What I thought I'd do is put together a very short video just to give people a quick tutorial how to take the registers first thing in the morning. Okay, so first things first, we want to get onto Bromcom. Now Bromcom is web-based, okay? So it's not a piece of software on our desktop. So in our browser, just type in Bromcom and it will be the cloudmis.bromcom.com web link. So just click on that and it'll take us to our home page. And there we have it. Now, hopefully you've already followed the instructions I sent in my previous email, which gave us a few steps that we needed to do to link our Google account over here uh, to Bromcom or relink it because we were in the dummy version earlier and now we're on the go live version. So once you've done that, all you've got to do is click login with Google account and it will take you to your home page. This is the home page for Bromcom. Now, you want to draw your attention to the right hand side of the screen, okay? My lesson browser and Today it's the 18th, it's obviously Bank Holiday Monday. Over here, what you want to do is you want to change it to the 19th. So period one on the 19th, I'm teaching 13.2, uh, it's my ethics class. So this will change, it'll go Tuesday the 19th of April 2022, period one. And we want to take the register, so very simple, take the register. It'll open up the register in a new screen. And over here, what you will notice is, is that your subject is already highlighted. It's in the blue because that is, these are the lessons for that pupil on this particular day. Yeah, so in the blue. And this is very useful because it helps us with safeguarding. I'll explain that in a moment. Where there's a question mark, you want to hit dash for mark. You, you already know this from Sims. N for them being absent. If you put in a code that is unknown, let's just say I'll put in a question mark, it will say action needed because the code is not valid. So you want to enter a code that is valid based on that. Um, and as we're going through bit by bit, we can actually work out that the pupil has been in previously, but is now absent in my lesson. And this is a safeguarding bit, because if they're absent in your lesson, even though they've been in that day, you might want to flag that with on call, uh, send an email to, to the front office. Um, OK, so that's how to do that. Now, once you've hit save on your register, that's it, it's done, it's saved, and you can then protect the register or unlock it, unprotect it, etc. If you've made a mistake, not to worry, you just hit undo. So very simple, OK? Um, and there we have it. That's how to take a register in two minutes. Thank you very much and have a wonderful week.